good day to everyone who will be watching this. Um, I just want to first of all say thank you all for joining the group and for watching. And I hope and trust that as you go along, you'll be able to create or develop um, a style or something from these blocks and you or you'll be able to do them yourself um so i just want to give you thanks for watching you can share if you want to share as well but thank you all for watching i'm out in the garden this day it's a beautiful sunshining day and um, it's beautiful just to sit here quietly, just listening to the birds and to um, put this out. So firstly, what we need to do is to remember that whatever, wherever we start, we have to start on a blank sheet of paper, whether it be plain paper or plain or a spot and cross paper. Once you've got that, what you do is first thing you do is to create a straight line on your paper like that and after you've done that you establish your full length your full length is the measurement that you measure so you either start from the top or the bottom and you put a mark you measure down what your full length is and you put another mark so that is your full length and you can label it a and b so that's where we start off your full length and the next thing is to establish the width across the shoulder the width across the shoulder is a line you square out from a outwards whatever the width across the shoulder is you use half that measurement you measure it you put a mark you call that c and then you square a little short line down not too long and not too short down there so the next thing you need to establish is your center back length so from B upwards towards A, you measure your center back length up there and you put a mark and you label that D. Next thing you need to establish is your shoulder slope. The shoulder slope is from B up towards the short line you've squared down. So whatever your shoulder slope is, you measure with your tape measure and your tape measure should touch on that line, whatever the measurement is of your shoulder slope. You put a mark, you label it E, and that is your shoulder slope. And so it's, and then you need to establish your shoulder length. And your shoulder length is from E towards the line A that you've squared out, and your shoulder length, whatever it is, it should touch that line. And you put a mark, you label that F, and then you connect your line from F to E, and that is your shoulder length. And then while you're at the top, you just connect from F to D with a curve, or with if you've got a good steady hand, curve that round, and that's your neckline shaping. So there you are. So the next thing we need to establish after you establish your shoulder length, you ex to establish your body width. Now, your body width is you divide D and B, whatever the measurement is, at, from D to B, you divide it into half, then you square a line out, this line. You square it right out across, and you label that G, that line G. So that is your full, or not your full body width, your, but your body width at the back. Okay, you don't have a full body width at the back. The reason why we don't have that, because we haven't got a bust at the back. But at the front, you have a full body width as well as a body width. But on the back, you just have a body width um, measurement. So the next thing is to establish your, your cross chest. So you're going to divide D and G in half. So D... And G, whatever that measurement is, you divide it into half. You divide that into half. And then you measure up. You put a mark. You square the line across. And that is your cross back, cross back measurement. So whatever your cross back measurement is, you use half that measurement. You put a mark and you label that H. And that is your cross back, cross back measurement. So that is H, cross back across here 
is your cross back measurement that line is your cross back so after you've done that you then need to establish your dart placement so what we're going to do is to divide measure what g is divide it into half this g line and then you omit one inch so for example if that was 10 um, you divide it into half so it'll be five and you minus one inch so it becomes uh, four so you're going to measure from G outwards four and you put a mark and then you're going to call that um, J and that is the point of your dart so you then begin to um, create your dart position so you then um, from B, you measure out half an inch less than what that measurement is. So that is four and a half. So this becomes four. So you measure from there four inches and you label that J. You put a mark and then you connect from J to I. And that is starting your dart measure. You then measure out an inch and a half for your dart, the width of the dart, and then you label that K. And whatever the measurement is from J to I, you've got to make the same measurement down to K, and you connect the line. So that is now become your dart shaping on the back. So the next thing we need to do is to establish our side measurement but before we establish the side you have to establish the rest of your waist measurement so from K outwards so whatever your waist measurement is um, you've got to take away the three and a half inches that you've used to put to arrive at from B to J so you minus three and whatever is left for your waist, you apply it from K outwards and you put a mark. And you label it L. So that's how you establish the rest of your waist measure. So the next thing we want to do establish is the side seam length so we know what our side seam is because we've got that measurement so we're going to take it from g down towards l so you draw a straight line down and it must line up with your l position which you have created the rest of your waist measure so whatever it is you measure it down and it's got to touch there and then you just connect the lines together again just connect that line there so that gives you your shape of your the rest of your waist which you've had already and it connects your side seam so that's how you create the back bodies and we trust that you understand and got that if you don't you can um send me a message and I'll explain a bit more for you so that's the bot the back bodies block bodies so there we go that, that's it for now we'll come back again so have a blessed day and stay safe bye bye